Hi there. My name is Eugenia Gomez, and I am here in this video to tell you a little bit about a very cool technique used in neuroscience research. Here we go. In the brain, neurons are the stars of the show. They are the cells that carry all the nerve impulses and electrochemical information that passes through the brain. Now, we classify neurons in many ways. Shape, protein marker expression, and connection patterns. We want to map the connections neurons form with each other and study exactly how they talk to each other so that we may better understand their neural pathways and their physiology. How can we do this? Rabies tracing. First developed in 2007, rabies tracing is a tool that allows us to examine neural connections one by one, synapse by synapse. This technique is used in neuroscience labs around the world in neuronal physiology and mapping research. Because viruses alter a cell's DNA when they infect it, we can use them as vessels with which to put the genes we want into neurons. Think of a virus like a UPS box. In this case, we want certain neurons to express or produce proteins that we can visualize through immunofluorescence microscopy. Monosynaptic rabies tracing involves using a genetically modified rabies virus which spreads slowly from one initial cell to the cell's presynaptic partner, the one before it, and stops, effectively lighting up individual connections. The rabies virus that is used has been genetically engineered to have a deletion in the section of its DNA that codes for the glycoprotein. This modification is what prevents the virus from spreading beyond that second cell. In the place of a glycoprotein, the virus carries with it the gene for a fluorescent protein, such as GFP, so that when the rabies virus incorporates its DNA into an infected neuron, that neuron produces the GFP and lights up green in imaging. In an experiment, the rabies virus would be injected into a live lab mouse or other test subject in the brain tissue of interest. The virus is then left to incubate in the live mouse for about seven days after which the researchers can image the harvested brain tissue with fluorescent microscopy. The result is a beautiful image like this one, which shows target neurons that are successfully infected and their connection buddies. While modern rabies tracing is limited in its labeling capabilities, recent advances have been made in making the use of rabies and other viral techniques more efficient or specific to certain subsets of neurons. Thank you so much for watching.